Hello everybody, this is Jessica with Stamp a Blessing. Super excited to be here this day to share with you one of my favorite um, 3D items that I create when I want to give a little something to somebody. And this is a tea bag and cookie holder that I created together inspired with paper pumpkin and also the, um, I how do you call it, the woman heirloom. Um, sweet and the paper so I'm so excited to share it with you and I cannot wait to see what you create with what you have I cannot stress enough if you don't have exactly this paper look for another one that you love and create some of these for those that you care about okay good morning let's go stamp some today I want to share with you how to create a tea bag and cookie holder and this is my favorite one why because it's simple and then it's, it is pretty and it actually shows um, pretty paper and I love doing that. So I'm going to start by sharing with you this beautiful paper. I think I shared it last week. I fell in love with it per personally because it coordinates with the new paper pumpkin kit, the one for July. So I will be using this sheet right here to create the tea bag holder. And uh, this one I'm going to put it on the side because I don't need it anymore. I also brought my Simply Scored, okay? And we are going to be making some scoring and some cutting. So what I did to start was that I brought a piece of designer source paper and this is cut at eight and a half. You may not be able to see it there, but it's eight and a half and it's also at 12 inches. So you have 12 by eight and a half. Now, I have some instructions in here and I'll show them to you in a little bit. Let me put my Simply Score a little bit in, you know, better for you so you don't have so much trouble looking. Okay. So the first scoring that we're going to do is going to be on the short side. So it's going to be on the side that is eight and a half. Okay. I'm going to bring my stylus. And for the center series paper, I like using the, um, which one was the one that I used? I used the big ball instead of the smallest one. You see that this one's a little smaller than that one. I'm going to use the big one because it protects the paper from being, um, you know, uh, messed up. <laughs> cut. You don't want to cut it. You want to be uh, gentle with it. So first you're going to score, <clears throat> excuse me, at two and a half and also at six inches. And I put it right here for you, two and one half inches and six inches. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for all those nice hearts. I can see them coming. Hi, Christy. Good morning. So good to see you. Yay, yay, yay. We're here stamping again. It's Monday. Hi, Joyce. Good morning. I'm making my first score lines on the short side, which is eight and a half of this pre-paper. Okay. Two and one half and then six inches. I'm going to twist my paper then to the long side, which is the 12 inches. Okay. And this one is going to have several score lines here. So we're going to start by, uh, by scoring at one and one fourth. So I'm going to find it right here. One and one fourth. Then we're going to score at two and a half. We will score then at five inches, which is right here. Next, we will score at seven. We'll score nine, now at nine and a half. Nine and a half, here you go. Last but not least, we will score at 10 and 3 fourths. So 10 and 3 fourths. Really? Oh my dear. So many scoring lines. I love this. Okay. So when you finish with that, let me put this close to you so you can maybe take a picture and have it right there. There it is. You can take a little selfie and you get all of the measurements on your phone. I like doing that. <laughs> Anybody does that? Awesome. Well, hope I was not that fast doing it so you can take it. But that's all with the Simply Scored. Now what we will do is we will start by um, folding all these lines. So first we made that line at two and a half, remember. So I'm going to be folding it. Where is it? I can hardly see it on this pretty paper, but here it is. Da, 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 dee, 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 dee. Ah, that's much better. I can see it better right there. And I'm going to score right here or fold. And I'm folding all of my sides right now. I'm just going for all of my lines. Don't even care about what side I'm going to be using yet. Rhonda, what did you do? <laughs> it says, did it. Like, what did you do, Rhonda? I don't know. And Marja, good evening from Finland. <laughs> Hi, Marja. It is so awesome to me that it's evening where you are. I know soon you're going to be going to bed. What time is it over there, Marja? 
It is so good. Okay, so I have all of my score lines done. Okay, that's the first step right there. The next step is you're going to bring, oh, a screenshot. Awesome. Thank you, Rhonda. Yay. You're so awesome. You're so good. Makes me happy. <laughs> now you're going to bring your scissors. And when you have your scissors, you're going to be cutting. Do I have this straight? Oh, my dear. I don't even know if I have my camera straight. There. Can I be more of a perfectionist? Okay. So you have a, you have some score lines here. You see this square right here? That is like two and a half and two and a half. So this is a two and a half square. You're going to cut that two and a half square off because you do not need it for this project. So we are going to cut those. And certainly you can do it with a cutter if you wish. I'm going to do it with my scissors right here with you. And we are going to take all the ones from the four corners, okay? Then we will proceed. This is one of the easiest tea bag holders that I ever made. I learned it from another demonstrator. I think her name is Chiaki or something like that. She posted a tutorial years ago. This was when I joined Stamping Up and I loved it. And it's one of those little treat bags that you go back over and over. Do you have any? I don't know if you have any in particular. I remember also I learned from Donald Shevsky. I think it's her name. I learned a two, four, six, eight bag. Anybody remember that one? I have a video, I believe, on that one on my YouTube channel, but that, I've never made a video of, of this one, and it's one of my favorites, and we are making them this month together with my team to invite um, some ladies for our events this coming month of September. So there you have it. I already cut all my little squares from here, from here, from here. Now, the next step will be I will be folding this in and if you see this is another square right here so I want this corner to come to this corner and I'm going to create a triangle so I'm going to come here and just fold right there I'm gonna bring this one in again and fold right here I'm gonna twist and I'm going to fold right there. You see, this is actually very simple. I'm not even using my bone folder, sorry. I'm just keeping things very simple for you. Okay, after I have all of those folded, I'm going to bring this in here. There, super easy. I love it because it's super easy. Did you realize that? Da -da -da. Okay, it doesn't matter which one goes on top of which one. Okay, so this is where, this is actually the bottom of my little baggie. Now I'm going to turn this the other way and I'm going to fold. I'm here and I'm here. I'm going to find that middle fold right there. Ha ha! And this is the other one. I'm going to bring this one in like this. I'm folding right there and I'm going to bring this one in. And this is how my little tea bag holder and cookie holder is gonna look, okay? So look at that, isn't that cute? Okay, so you have no idea what I'm doing. But what I did is that I, I took a little cellophane bag and I tried really hard to find pretty cookies and pretty cellophane bags. You know what? Whatever, <laughs> I couldn't find any. I'm like looking for my stamping up bags all around my craft room and it's one of those days that nothing appears for you. So I grabbed the first one I got, this was made in China. Sorry, my ladies, <laughs> but I have to use what I had in hand. I, and this is like a four by six little cellophane bag. I put a little bit of my twine and then I grab some cookies and crash. I, I, yeah, I did that to my cookie. But you won't mind because I'm just teaching you how to do this. And, and I'm sure that whoever receives my little cookie won't mind. It's going to taste the same. Now, the idea is that this cookie is going to go right here and it's going to be held like that. Okay, and you get to see this little cellophane bag up here, which makes it really actually very festive. So I'm going to put that inside. And the way I'm going to do this is I'm going to hold this here. I'm going to make sure I have my corners well in there. And I'm going to bring my crop dial. And you can use any hole puncher that you own. Okay, I don't really mind. And I'm going to make a little hole right here. I'm not being too much of a perfectionist. Um, you can be later if you wish. I'm just going to make my little holes here whenever I can. Trying to do it under the camera and not messing it up in front of you all. <laughs> this is so cute. Okay. Ta-da-da. -da. Okay. So I have my two little holes right there. 
Okay, now I will bring, boom, it open. I will bring my cross curry, and this is, um, which ribbon is this one? The crinkled seam binding ribbon. Okay, I've been waiting for Stamping Up to bring back one of this, um, Crinking, crinking, crinkle, crinkle seam binding ribbons. Um, for a while, they were not bringing them back. And this is the one that they brought now. And I'm so excited. They brought it in crushed curry. So I bought it right away. And I knew I would use it. I like using them because of how, how, I'll show you. <laughs> it's just so cute. Look, it kind of looks crinkled. And no, you don't have to iron it. It's just so cool. You're, you'll see how it looks at the end. But let me bring my ribbon scissors real fast. And I'm going to cut this right there. And we'll bring back my little treat bag. And I'll show you how this will end. It shouldn't take you long to make this ones. These are really cute. Dee -dee 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 -dee. And I'm gonna bring this one through here. Absolutely love this little tea bag. Oh, and I, I don't have this. I wanna have it there so you can see it. Okay. Where did you get the punch? You know what, Didi? I made a, a blog post this morning already on my stampablessing.com and you can see all my materials in there. I think I in included the crocodile also with a link. I think now it comes in different colors. The one that I put in there, I think it's like aqua color. So anyhow, I have this in here and let's see if this is enough ribbon for me. I'm not sure. I think it should be more than enough, but this is what I'm gonna do. I'm going to make my little bow, and my bow is going to hold my little treat bag together. Or at least that's the idea. And the cookie inside. Okay, I'm going to leave it like that, and I'm just going to fix my bow quickly here. Da da da! Choo 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 choo! Pull it, pull it, Jessica, a little bit. Just to make the bow a little bit better looking. Haha! <laughs> I really like this ribbon. I really like the, it's kind of festive. festive. That's that's what I think of it. It's a little festive. Crocodiles and awesome. Something punches through thick paper. Yeah, and cardboard and everything. I love it. I use my crocodile a lot for my scrapbooking when I make mini albums and I make, um, and I put some of those ring holders thingies, uh, key holders. I, I use my crocodile a lot. So, Stamping Up used to carry it, but it doesn't carry it anymore. So I just kept it. Okay, so here's our little baggie. Okay, now I'm going to decorate my baggie. I really like it. This is just the, the main thing. I brought a little orange and spice herbal tea. I believe my friend Faith gave me this one. Introduce me to them. Thank you, Faith, if you're watching. This one is going to go back here. Ta -da -da, tee -tee 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 -tee. Look how cute! I just love that. <laughs> I love it. I love it. And I actually have grown to love tea. I, I drink the caffeine-free one because I'm a caffeine-free girl. But, um, okay, I'm having trouble with my bow. It's going to stay like that. Okay, what are we going to do next? Well, I definitely want to um, embellish with the paper pumpkin stamps because I love showing you how I embellish things. So what I did, and I use this ones all the time, I actually stamped two of my medallions already on crushed curry. And what I usually do is I am not afraid of scissors. You know that well. But these ones are actually very, very easy to cut and kind of go around like this. Can you see what I'm doing? Oh, I'm too far away from you. I'm sorry. There you go. Now you can see what I'm doing. I love cutting. I, it's just weird. It's like when I say I love cleaning when I'm doing my floors or something. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody likes to clean. But you know, today I was passing, just sweeping the kitchen this morning, and I thought, I really enjoy doing this. It's a weird saying, but I enjoy doing this because it gives me some white space in my day, kind of lets me think. And either I sing or pray or think about something or remember something while I'm doing dishes or while I'm sweeping. So there, I am going to stamp one of those and I'm going not only to do one, but I actually went ahead and cut so many others. So I'm going to use three in total for this project, okay? I also stamp some of my little shells right here. I'm going to move this a bit up. Um, I stamped them and I cut them. And this was in the new Purple Posey color car stock. And I have different ones. Actually, who knows? Maybe I'll use the, that is the seaside spray. And it looks actually very cute. But let's see what happens. Besides that, I brought a piece of seaside spray car stock. And this is just, um, doesn't matter how long it is really, as long as it's 
Uh, you, you'll see well, where I'm going to put it. But this is half of an inch, okay? So we are going to stamp that right away because I did not stamp that one. Where did I put it? Oh, I'm going to stamp this one. You are the best. And I'm going to stamp it with on Pretty Peacock. And I love that Paper Pumpkin Supplies so much. This is actually the color that came. Kathy said housework? Nope. <laughs> You know what? I just enjoy every every time that I can have like a quiet time. And usually when you're cleaning, nobody comes. Nobody comes. Nobody. No. No kids come when you're cleaning because they know that you're going to put them to clean again. So, or clean with you. So they leave you alone and you just meditate. <laughs> At least that's my thinking. Okay. So here I'm going to stamp, you are the best. Okay. Let's see if this comes out nice. And I'm just going to stamp it in the center right there. And you'll see where I'm going to put this. It's just a cute idea to decorate my little baggie. So first, I'm going to twist my baggie this way. And I know I want to add one of my medallions here. And I'm thinking I want to add another medallion here. Okay. And uh, I think I want to use this one. I want to kind of put it right there. You see, I'm just making a little cluster there and i know i have some of these so i want to decorate a little bit with that but then this me and my great ideas <laughs> ribbon get out of the way <laughs> i'm gonna put it right here okay it's like the perfect absolute perfect size okay so this is the way it's gonna go now i need my i need my stuff my adhesive so bear with me here for a second i'm just gonna put a little bit of glue there and i know i want to put it right here Da, da, da. Don't follow me, please. Then I'm going to put this one with a couple of dimensionals. Just right there. Everyone disappears when cleaning. <laughs> yes, Maria. <laughs> Everyone disappears. Why is that? Why, why when mom is cleaning, everybody disappears? I'm not sure, but you know what? It's fine. It is. It's weird. I don't know. I'm not saying I love doing dishes. I'm saying, you know, there's moments when I can enjoy doing them the same with sweeping because it's like a quiet time. It's like when I'm folding laundry, you know, that's just life. I think God gives us those those moments like the seasons to slow down and think. Amen. <laughs> I know I'm not receiving too many amens right now. It's okay. You don't have to totally agree with me. <laughs> but I will leave it there. Okay. So I'm going to put this right here in this corner. And I know I want to put this right here. So let me see how that is going to look. Oh, you know what? I kind of cover it. So I'm going to need to put a teeny bit lower. And I am on the spot. I'm just going to bring a little pencil. And I'm going to make a little line right there because I want to cut it right there and this one I'm going to cut it right here okay I'm not necessarily a perfectionist I just know what I want and I want to see it certain way and I go for it okay so there you go I'm a perfectionist in whatever I want and not in other things so there I have you are the best this one is a little bit too long so I'm going to need to cut it a bit more that's what happens when you're live and I'm sure you can do it even better than I. So, boop, 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 boop. let me see. I'm going to put some of these in here. I feel like I'm getting off the camera. Betty said, amen. <laughs> Good morning, Rita. Rita, nobody's saying amen today because I was talking about sweeping and doing dishes and having a white space <laughs> during chores. So nobody's saying amen today. I'm just, I'm just joking. I'm having fun with you all. Okay, so let me look at this and it's gonna go I want to be able to see the you right Dee -dee -dee. okay I think this is cool yeah I'll leave it just like that now I have my tea in the back I have my little decoration right here. I can certainly add some of these now what is missing is a little card that will go whoops it will go right here inside. So this is a six by three inches piece of cardstock. And this is going to go right here. Okay. So in order to do that, I see I have some ink on my fingers. I also cut a piece of pretty peacock at two and three fourths by two and three fourths. So I'm going to put it right here. 
and I cut a piece of the same the same um, designer search paper that I was using here and I want to use it for this card so I may make something like this yeah I like that and I'm gonna take the pretty peacock again I'm almost done with this project but I'm excited that you are learning it I'm not sure if you already knew how to make this one but it is a pretty one and I really really like it so let's see I'm gonna put hello friend in there okay and i'm going to bring one more of my medallions my medallion is going to go around here now before i put my medallion i want to glue things together put a little bit of twine around it and these are just ways to use what you have so if you have pretty paper where is my glue i don't know where's my my snail adhesive that's weird but i'll do that i'll put some of this one in here and this is just a simple three by three card that will go inside my little tea bag holder and cookie holder. Okay. Oh, okay. Well, in this case, I'm going to, I kind of forgot to put the, I'm going to go like that. Yep. I like that. I'm going to put a little bow on this side since I kind of forgot to go around the whole paper, but you can do it however you wish. Just little ideas this morning for you to, to share. And this is actually a project I'm doing with my Blessed Stampers um, during the month of August, preparing for our events on September. We all love having friends that we can show how to stamp, and we are doing that this next month with my Blessed Stampers, and we are all creating together. So that's part of what we're doing and I'm excited. So this is one of the projects that I showed them in our last meeting and I wanted to share them with you as I was doing it with a paper pumpkin um, kit and the coordinating suite that is on the catalog. So there I have that. Then I'm going to bring one of these. Da -da -da. And this is just a little glue dot. And you know what? I'm going to put it right there. I think that works. Why not? Chin, chin, chin. Oh. Here's my little thing. And then I'm going to add a couple of more. I want to add a few more of this little glue dots here. Okay, you're gonna see for what. I'll take this out and I will be adding some sequences. Okay, I have them here. <laughs> Let's see which one I can grab because they're tiny. <laughs> ah, have mercy. I love this. I love creating with you ladies. It's so, so relaxing. It's so good. It's good to start the morning praising the Lord and stamping. There. Yep. It is good. The Lord is good. So there you go. You have a very cute. Ooh, 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 ooh. Let me put a few more of these in here. What about if I put a little sequin in there too? Uh, I didn't put that in the wrong spot. I'll add them later, okay? I can add them later. I don't want to keep you here forever. You know what I'm uh, you know what I'm doing. But isn't that a cute card? I think I like it. It's very cute. Very it's small. It's three by three. So I'll show you the other one that I created to invite some ladies to my my stamping party next month in September. Look how cute. Do you like this? I think it's so it's so fun. It's just a little thing. And when you have guests, you can also put them on the table on each of their placemats and they can have a little little tea and they can have some cookies and receive a little card. Or you can use them as I plan to use them. Here's another one that I created. You can use them to invite somebody. So in here I create a little, you are invited. I don't think I put anything else inside. Oh yeah, let's get together and giggle. <laughs> Isn't that cute? So this is just another type. For this ones, I was using the beautiful promenade. Um, that's the flower where the flower came from. And this little flourish right here from the Stamping Up catalog. Love this one. So it's, it's one of my retired um, papers, I believe. So use what you have. If you have something cute, I want you to go and do it. Look, two colors. I've added maybe a lighter one right there. I think that's like petal pink or 
powder pink, one of those, and um, decorate and just bless somebody with what you have at hand. So hopefully these inspire you to invite some friends to stamp. That is my purpose during September. So I'm going to be making many of these ones to invite several people. Now, before I bring a word from the Bible, which I always love doing to encourage you, I want to show you the creative Bible that I will be giving as a giveaway. Oh, I'm going to need to, I'm going to pass the pages real fast and then I'm going to put it on on YouTube so you can actually see it correctly because I don't think you can see it this way. Maybe you can, maybe not. But this is the, this is the Bible. I'm going to pass it really fast. Okay. Choose this day. There is, um, this day whom you will serve as for me and my house, we will serve the Lord. So I'm so sorry for all the commotion there. I was trying to get things correctly, but look how beautiful this is. It's perfect. Okay. I'm getting all your yeses. Look how beautiful this is. If thou seek him, he will found, he will be found of thee. But if thou forsake him, he will cast thee off forever. It's just so, so inspiring. Some of the pages just give you space for you to write on it. Okay. Yay. I see your hearts. Okay. And then this part here, some of them then have some verses. You see, Proverbs, trust in the Lord with all thine heart, lean not on thine own understanding. Proverbs, and it is so beautiful, so beautiful. You can actually make your own art if you wish, or you can just color this ones. And I, my desire is that you are inspired to read and be more in the word. If you lost your train, if you lost your, you know, your, your passion about reading it, man, invest in a new Bible, invest in something cute and something pretty and start reading it again. Anything that makes you fall in love with his word because his word is life. And this is a Bible that I'm going to be giving away on August 12th to one of the participants from the creative challenge with the past paper pumpkin. So feel free to participate and leave your entries on that specific um, post that I have on my Facebook Stamp a Blessing group. If you are trying to join the group, I suggest you answer the questions. I have too many hackers trying to enter the group. So I, I only... Um, let join people that actually answer my questions, the three questions that I asked. So I'm so sorry if you've been having trouble with that. But here's the Bible. And now I would like to actually read the word to you. I hope you're inspired. I have a link for this all on my blog. So you can see more pictures of it on stampedblessing.com. Let me turn my camera around and let's just go to the word. This week I was on my keyboard and I was um, just meditating on the word of God and worshiping. And as I was worshiping, I love when the Lord comes with a word that just kind of surprises me. Does that happen to you? Sometimes it brings you quotes that you never heard before. And I heard this quote, it just came to my heart that says, where you are, you are just fine. Where you are, you are just fine. And let me explain how much this meant for me. Sometimes I'm in life and I'm in seasons that I do not like, or I am carrying a weight that I do not like. Or I am like in my piano, for example, I am in a level that I don't like. I want to be farther. I want to know more. I want to understand more. I want to read faster, you know, or sometimes in my motherhood, I am not where I want to be. You know, there are so many situations in your life where you're in that maybe you don't like and you feel uncomfortable and you are always wishing that you can be uh, like three or four steps ahead of where you are. And when the Lord said that to me, it was so personal. And all, but it was so beautiful because it kind of reminded me that where I am for him, I am just fine. I am okay. And you are as well. Let me remind you this, where you find yourself in this season, either in a piano lesson or something you're learning, the place where you live or your card making, your scrapbooking, maybe you're not cut off and you feel like you're always behind on your marriage, on your schooling. If you're homeschooled like me and I'm always trying to catch up with the books of the kids and everything else in your stamping up career, in your business, maybe you're not where other people are. Maybe you're not up there high on the ladder. You know what? Enjoy where you are right now because where you are, you are just 
fine. And that is what the Lord kind of ministered to me these days. And I was so blessed. And I wanted to share it with you. Don't feel guilty for not being somewhere else. Don't feel frustrated for not being somewhere else. You are where you are right now. And it's the perfect place for you. And God is holding you and transforming you. And let me leave you with this word in Romans 12. It says, Therefore, I urge you, brothers, in view of God's mercy, to offer your bodies as living sacrifices, holy and pleasing to God. This is your spiritual act of worship. Do not conform any longer to the pattern of this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind. Then you will be able to test and approve what God's will is, His good, pleasing, and perfect will. And how do we renew our mind? We renew our mind in the Word of God. So keep reading it. Keep studying it. Keep meditating on His Word. There is such freedom in it. And you know what? You may not be where you want to be, but you can rest assured that the Lord is transforming you and He's making something beautiful out of your life. Even if you don't feel that you are where you want to be, He's doing something beautiful through you. So just know you are okay. And you are on your way. So if this word ministered to you today, I want you to go to the comments and say, I am just fine in Christ Jesus. I am just fine fine. So whatever, even maybe you are high in your weight and you can't lose weight. Hold on. You are just fine and you are beautiful in his eyes. So thank you for joining me today. I cannot wait for next week because next week we're going to be pulling out the person that is going to get that Bible. I'm going to send it on the mail for you. If you have not created with your past paper pumpkin kits, you're invited to do so. Go get your past kits out, create something, go post it on Stampy Blessing here on the Facebook group. And I cannot wait to see you and see everything that you create. Also the tea bag holders. Let me see what you do. Thank you so much for being here. Leave me your comments below. I'll see you later. Ciao, ciao.